All right, you can help make a difference while watching hockey tonight. The Ottawa Senators Foundation Telethon starts at 6.30. It's being held while the Sands host Vancouver at the CTC. The foundation helps local children of all ages. Let's bring in uh, two people for you this morning. Brad Weir from the Ottawa Senators Foundation and Jim Perkins from the Capital City Condors, one of the benefactors. Good to meet Absolutely. you both. Thank you Pleasure. for coming on. Thanks for having us. Let's start first with about the foundation. How long has this telethon been around and what's the goal? Gosh, this is our 17th year and... If, if it's okay, I'd rather not. Like, I think our goal is to raise as much money as we can. Right. But I think, you know, most of all is, like, the work that we do really benefits, you know, so many kids. So the more money we raise, the more kids we can uh, we can support. And that's really what it's all about. 60,000 kids apparently have been touched by the money that's been raised helping. And what's the, where's the money spent? So right now we invest in physical and mental wellness. Um, so in, in addition to, we give kids an opportunity to play sports and get involved in after school and recreation programs. How have yeah. the Capital City Condors benefited over the years? Well, you know, you hear a figure like 60,000, yeah. and it sounds like a, an overwhelming number, and it is, but what we get to see is a portion of that individual lives and, in, and their families and how they are individually impacted by this. So you take an overwhelming number and you break it down to an individual child's face, yeah. you know, and the joy that comes on over their face as they're able to play a game they always dreamed about playing but never had the chance to do. When you see the difference that it makes in their family when they're able to participate in stuff like going out to restaurants that maybe they weren't able to do because it was too much stimulation for their child to, to handle, you know. Mm. So they're doing, families are able to do what the rest of us would consider maybe normal activity, but it's not been part of their experience until now. So it, it breaks down in a very specific and meaningful way. Is there one story or one family that has sort of stands out for you that you may able oh, to make man. a difference thanks to the Foundation uh, Telephone? It would be really hard to narrow it down to one. I guess it, it maybe that's a good news story because it helps yeah, so many people. Yeah, it's it's phenomenal. I'm working on a book, you know, about their story and telling yeah. their stories. And as the parents open up, 10, 12 years of doing this, you think you've heard mo yeah. most of their life, but when they start telling you more, you know, about some of the challenges they went through when they when they were young and the dreams that they were told even by medical personnel will park that, that's never gonna be part of your experience. Mm. You know, but then to stand beside parents as they just break into tears because they're watching their child do something they were told they would never be able to do. You know, they're wearing a jersey to school on jersey day just like every other kid, but they didn't have that opportunity before. You know, that's how it breaks down really personally and that's what really moves us each each week. All right, you've just tugged at the heartstrings because the public basically allows that to happen. That's, that's the right. telethon tonight. We're gonna meet some of those families, right? We will, yeah. So we have four special families coming tonight, um, you know, just like these, and all families that, you know, benefit in different ways from your support. So really, you know, the goal tonight, again, like I said, is really try to raise as much money as we can to do as much good as we can for these kids in this community because, you know what, you know, Leslie, if I may, yeah. at some point someone gave you an opportunity to, you know, be here on CTV. And, yeah. you know, Jim, someone gave you an opportunity to, you know, to be a coach and to, and to found uh, this program. And for these kids, like, some, they just need a chance. And so the support from the money we raised tonight is going to give, give these kids an opportunity to do something they otherwise wouldn't have. And I think that's all anyone can ask for, right? If someone's watching and they say, I want to help now, is there a place they can go make a donation? Absolutely. So we encourage everyone to go to our website. So it's sensfoundation.com. That's easy. They can call in. It's one 844 8 sends or it's really easy, they can text uh, SENS, S-E-N-S, to 45678 to donate $10, or GO SENS to 45678 to donate 20 And the really cool thing yep. is we have a sponsor that's um, doubling all the donations. Wow. Right? So, I mean, if you donate $10, that's automatically 20 So, I mean, everybody can feel good about making a contribution because they know it's going to be doubled. That is huge. Yeah. So, tune in tonight, TSN 1200 on the radio or TSN 5 for the very latest um, in between the action on the ice. You're going to be talking about how you're changing lives and how you can help. Appreciate it. Pleasure. Really, nice to meet, to meet you. you. Thank you. you. Appreciate so. it. All right, over to Annette. Well, March break is 